across the board, it, it seems like the thought is in second line in general to use ramucirumab based treatment, doublet, singlet. The, the question is, what do you do with HER2 positive? We, we're going to come right back around again. Would you then give your second line patient ramucirumab plus paclitaxel in HER2 positive after receiving trastuzumab-based based therapy? Well, the right. answer is that you have to biopsy these patients and make sure they're still HER2 positive. Because if their loss of HER2 uh, is noted, you should definitely not. Um, and there's data presented at ASCO GI uh, suggesting um, that uh, continuation in trast of trastuzumab beyond progression as opposed to it wasn't compared to, you know, and this was not a randomized study, um, is important. So definitely stopping um, uh, trastuzumab altogether is the standard, uh, but if you are able to continue it, it may be considered. Whether or not switching to ramucirumab um, is, uh, you know, any inferior or superior than continuing to trust, uh, trastuzumab beyond progression, we don't know. And the standard, I would say, outside of a clinical trial is to do taxol ramucirumab. Yeah, because I think um, some of the data that Yelena alluded to, they are, uh, some of them are retrospective, some of them are registry-based. So I think that's always a lot of, could be potential bias into that and may potentially over uh, estimate the benefit of continued trastuzumab. So I think that in Japan, they have finished recruitment of a randomized study, although I understand it's a randomized phase two study, uh, of first-line trastuzumab-based chemotherapy, and then they were randomized to Pacotaxel or Pacotaxel Plus uh, continuing trastuzumab. Is it called Phoenix? Exactly. Yeah. Uh, we start this, started this trial before approval of the Mushurumab. Yeah. So we compare Paclitaxel and Paclitaxel plus Trastuzumab beyond progression for 90 patients after first line therapy. We already finished recruitment and we're waiting for the result. I agree with uh, Helena's comment to take biopsy before second line is very important. We also have a similar experience of loss of HER2 in approximately 20% patient and uh, emergence of other oncogenic alterations such as MET or EJF. I also have a such patient. This patient might be a good candidate for the other clinical trial after second or third line chemotherapy. But uh, regarding the rainfo, uh, rainbow data, we have a subgroup analysis, which was uh, uh, information which submitted for the EMA, which showed a, a clear trend of improvement even for the heart positive disease with a RAM schumer. So I. As a clinical practice, we use a public tax for a for health positive disease. And if I could just, so the, I would just come back to the idea that HER2 positive gastric cancer is not the same thing as HER2 positive breast cancer. And, and we actually have more negative studies targeting HER2 in gastric cancer, four out of five, compared to all the studies in breast cancer. So I, <laughs> I, I think that, you know, I would really, with a grain of salt, um, ever use trastuzumab beyond progression. I think that, um, I mean, if you are going to, absolutely a biopsy is important, but, um, but I think that, you know, you have actually active drugs, mm -hmm. you know, Taxol, Ramucirumab, Imunotecan, maybe a PD-1 inhibitor. You know, I, I'd, I'd hate for you not to use something that's proven um, in that setting.